Hello guys, Express Studios here. Today I'll be showing you a new tutorial on how to use camera tracking using the auto track feature which is included in Blender's latest version. And this method is essential. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop blabbering and now let's roll the intro. Six hours later. YouTube, you'll get plenty of stock footages. Okay, now let's import a footage. Two thousand years. It's here. You need to enter the FPS of your video. So mine is twenty nine point nine seven, and it depends upon your footage. Okay, and now let's scrub this and go to the first frame and I'm going to set the start and end frames between 100 frames uh, just for the sake of the tutorial and now as you can see here there is an auto track option now go ahead and hit it and boom as you can see there are many camera tracks some may succeed and some may fail and it's going on okay we are done tracking as you can see the red tracks indicate that the tracks have failed and the yellow ones indicated indicate that the tracks are successful and now we need to delete this as they might screw up the shot and ultimately it gives you a wrong camera track and let now let's delete them one by one six hours we'll later the tracks and now let's scrub and as you can see there are few tracks which have failed so we need to get rid of them and now it's going good it's going good it's going good okay now this feature is for people like me actually it's like uh, for lazy people but let's not be lazy we need to add some manual tracks okay now select sharp edges so that it gives you a perfect camera track so i'm going to select the vertices of this building and now select sharp i'm selecting sharp edges and as you can see now i'm going to track it backwards and it's going good one of the track has failed if you want you can reset it and let's track it again let's reset and we are done and it's going good anyways this track is giving me trouble so let's delete it and it's good it's good okay now we need to solve the camera tracker so blender has a strong and powerful camera solver so we're going to solve it and the average error projection error should be less than one mine is 0 0.12 that means the track is good and if you want to add further refines like like this and i'm going to refine the focal length optical center k1 and k2 and now i'm going to resolve it and then we are done now we need to orient the floor the origin and the axis so we, i'm going to select one track and i'm going to set the origin and i'm going to select one more track and i'm going to select my x axis be sure not to select the same track which i used for the previous one and now i'm going to select another track for setting up the y axis and now this is the most important one i am selecting three tracks with bundles to set the floor or to orient the floor and if you are not satisfied you can select some more tracks and we need to and finally we need to set the scale between two tracks and the distance is going to be one or it's it's up to you 
and now set as background set up tracking scene and now we are done with the tracking and now we'll switch to the default layout and as you can see we need to scale these things down so that we can have a look at the footage and what's going on and now we are going to scale this down and as you can see we have the footage at the background and if we scrub this we can have the look as you can see it has tracked perfectly and one more last thing one last and now press N and then render undistorted and then render distorted and now it's going good now we want to delete this and now add in a monkey as you can see the monkey is not having subdivisions so we need to add them press ctrl 3 for having the subdivision surface modifier and then hit the smooth button make sure to set the monkey in between the camera tracks and not away from them it should be in between them and now if you want you can rotate it a bit and now i think it's good okay and now as you, as you play through you can see that the monkey has a stable position and if you want you can add keyframes to it and move the monkey you press n and then press I and then location and then go to the hundredth frame and then grab it on Y axis and little bit on Z axis it's looking dangerous right but still and now go to the graph editor and then press V and then vector and now switch back to 3D view and as you can see the monkey is approaching towards us and you can add other 3D models and this is the monkey and now uh, curve center to center and then add a torus and then we have the angel monkey and if you want you can rotate it and scale it up a little bit as you can see a small change brought in a big detail to the monkey now it's an angel <laughs> okay now let's scale it down a bit and now as you can see it's going good oh we have went parented it so let's parent it so press ctrl j and then join and now they move together as you can see so that's it this is the 3d camera tracker and you can use it for putting up 3d models for cam matching and best of luck